Hi, my name is Ross Stise. I am a mortgage advisor, mortgage broker, and we are here today to talk about the First Home Fund. Hello, my name is Paul Clancy Jr. I'm from Clancy Solicitors and Estate Agents, and I work closely with the Stise Group. I think there are a few key points to note that we would like to let you know about the First Home Fund. So, the first thing is, is the government are willing to give you 25000 towards your first time purchase. And in return for that, they will take a, a share in, in your property. It's called a shared equity scheme. And ultimately, it will help towards your deposit. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's it so yeah, far. Yeah, so it's a, a shared equity loan. It's designed to help first-time buyers get on the ladder for the first time. It's not means-tested, so you just have to be a first-time buyer to qualify, and then you'll be accepted for the scheme. You don't have to take the full £25,000. You can take a, a lesser amount if you don't require it. And um, the, the, the shared equity own it, it's something you may have not heard of before. Um, it's, it's ultimately going to be uh, almost like a second borrowing, but you will own the property 100% and be the, only, the owner of the property, but you, you, you're getting a, a helping hand from the Scottish Government um, where your affordability would maybe be restricted based on the, your current salary at this moment in time. Other points to note is it is available in Scotland only and it's not like the help to buy scheme where you probably have heard of that. Help to buy is applicable to, to new build properties only and if you've heard of the lift scheme, the lift scheme is available for the second hand market only. This is available for both which is quite good. Again, what is quite restrictive on like the lift scheme is if the house is worth £100,000 and you want to buy it for £101,000, you cannot use the lift scheme. But with the, with the first home fund, you can use uh, the, the monies towards your deposit as well. Yeah. So it's open to second-hand homes or new builds. One of the other key features against the lift scheme is it's open to a private transaction as well as a property that's on the open market. So what I mean by that is if you have a family property in the family that you want to then transfer to a, a sibling, a son or daughter, it is possible to do that, um, which couldn't be done under the lift scheme. So um, that's another added advantage of the first home fund. I think the, the one, one of the big things is that we're getting asked a lot is, I'm a first time buyer, but my partner is not a first time buyer. Is that still okay? The answer is yes, you can still use the first home fund as long as one of you are a first time buyer and the second party no longer owns the property or will no longer own a property on completion of this new application for the first home fund. So what I mean by that is by the time you get your keys in the door of your new purchase, any properties in the background have to have been sold and, and gone. We also asked a lot what happens when it comes to selling the property. So let's just say you take the full 25% out, uh, sorry, 25,000 pounds out when you buy the property. And for simplicity, that equates to 10% of the value of the property at the time that you bought it. If you then go on to sell it in say five years time for a much greater amount and you haven't looked to buy out any shares from the Scottish Government, the Scottish Government will get 10% of what you sell it for in five years time and you'll get 90% of what you, buy it for, uh, what you sell it for in five years time. There is an option to buy out the, the Scottish Ministers at any point after you've acquired the property uh, this is knowing it's trenching up and we can provide further information on that um, in our detailed documents. The scheme was released in December of last year and it expires in March of next year. So there was 150 million in the pot. They have put another 50 million in the pot because it has been extremely popular. But the key thing is, is if you are looking to use this 25,000 pounds, then you will need to act fast because the money has got to be used up by the end of March next year. And the way the market is at the moment, it's extremely busy. So these applications tend to be taking a little bit longer. So if you're interested in knowing a little bit more, I would suggest you maybe drop us a line. 
you can get in touch with us. It's info at Stisi, that's S-T-I-S-I, -S info at stisi.co.uk and we're happy to answer any more questions. And I think that's pretty much it. Have you got anything else to add? Yeah, no, that's it, pretty much. So if it sounds like it's of interest to you, the, the first step is to establish that you can get a mortgage and then you can start the fun part of looking for a house. Uh, and once you've been successful and accept, uh, an offer being accepted, that's when the, the award or you apply for the first home fund, which we take care of all for you. So um, so as I say, to get the ball rolling, we, we just need you to, to speak to us regarding your budget and then we can take it from there. So thanks very much. Hopefully you found that helpful. And if you need anything answered, just get in touch with us and we'll happily talk you through the full process. We also have a full version of this video. It's around about 45 minutes long where it takes you through in intricate detail as to how the full process works. But this is a little bit condensed, but by all means get in touch and we'll happily discuss it with you. Thanks very much.